Good morning, boys and girls. As you know, we have been reading some missionary stories, and I think all of us really love stories about missionaries. I love the story of Amy Carmichael, George Mueller, and many more. Today, we're continuing our story about Abner. So here we go. Thanks for listening up. Do you remember who we talked about last time? He was born in a church, and he loved playing soccer and marbles. And when he was eight years old, he believed in Jesus as his savior. How about some of you? Do you believe in Jesus as your savior? This is an opportunity to ask Jesus to be your forever friend, to be your Lord and savior. Abner Pineda, who can tell me what he was thinking? Who can tell me what he was thinking about to get money for the festival? What were you thinking? Yes, you're absolutely right. Abner was thinking about stealing money from his mom. And he thought no one would notice. Abner sneaked into his parents' room, glancing behind him to make sure that no one saw him. And he very, very quietly opened up his mother's box and he reached inside and he grabbed out, grabbed out a bag full of coins, just like that. He put them into his pocket and he hurried out of the room. He had just done it. Now he could play games at the festival, just like his friends. Finally, the big day came and the boys joined the crowds, lining the street for the big parade. Here they come, Carlos shouted over the noise of the crowd as the horses came in view. When the parade was over, they raced off to the fair. They rode the Ferris wheel. They ate cotton candy. They played games. The festival should have been a lot of fun. But Abner, you can see in the picture right there, was he having fun? What do you think? Oh, you're right. He wasn't having any fun at all. He kept thinking about how he'd stolen the money. The Holy Spirit was living in Abner, was telling him something's wrong. What do you think Abner should do? What would you do, boys and girls, if you were in that situation where you had stolen something from your parents or some, some, from someone else? What would you do? Would you go up and tell that person? Let's see what Abner does. Abner felt so bad for taking the money from his mother that he had no fun at all at the festival. Was it worth it to steal the money, do you think? Abner knew stealing was wrong. It was a sin and it did not please God. God, the Holy Spirit, lived in Abner because Abner had believed Jesus as Savior and Lord. And today in our Bible story also, we have been talking about the Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit, helped Abner know he had sinned. Abner confessed and agreed with God about his sin. And God knew that he was forgiven. And Abner knew that he was forgiven by God. God was helping Abner grow into a stronger Christian. Abner continued to grow. And when he was older, he decided to go to Bible college. Maybe some of you will decide to go to Bible college. After Abner graduated from Bible college, he visited his sister Norma in the United States, and she was a single mother. Norma asked Abner to stay in the U.S. to live with her and to help her. In the U.S., Abner began going to a Spanish-speaking church in California. And one Sunday, he met a beautiful young lady named Susan. She was going to be a missionary and was raising money to go to the Dominican Republic. Susan would tell children about Jesus while she was there, and they would come to know the good news of why Jesus lives, why Jesus died. And just as we're learning the good news today, Abner went to the Dominican Republic 
to get training to teach children. And he thought about becoming a missionary, just like Susan. Instead, Abner found a good job in Guatemala and worked with children on weekends. But he felt something was not right. A letter came asking Abner to come to the Dominican Republic to work there. Abner was very confused about what to do. If I become a missionary, he said, I would have to trust God for all of the money that would be provided. And I would need to receive gifts, gifts from other Christians. Oh, it would be so much easier, Abner thought, just to have a regular paycheck. Abner was reminded and remembered how poor his family had been when he was small and his father was a pastor. Abner believed God wanted him to be a missionary, but he was afraid. Do you think that Abner will trust God to be a missionary? We're going to find out next week. So I hope you'll join us and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks, boys and girls.